wow, this light makes me look really white. What's going on guys? Come and welcome back to the channel. We're in the basement again. The last video I did in the basement was my fork rebuild, which was a really good video. If you haven't checked it out, please do. I'll link it down below as well as probably at the end of this video, um, along with my dirt jumper bike check, which hopefully before this video, you've checked out that other video. And as you can see, it's actually right behind me. I mentioned in the last video that I am going to be starting a small series, I guess is kind of what the idea is I'm going for. So I have a small, very small obsession with buying cheaper bikes like Walmart bikes, stuff like that, you know, bikes that are older and fixing them because I like to work on bikes and stuff like that and then just selling them off for the money I have in parts and maybe just a little bit money into like the labor and stuff like that. So with that being said, that's what we're going to be doing. So I have acquired three different Walmart bikes. A Granite Peak, which is a 26 inch um, mountain bike, nothing special. A Mongoose and a Huffy, a girl's Huffy actually. So I had two men's bikes and one girl bike. The backstory behind both of these bikes is the Granite Peak, which is a typical, you know, cheap Walmart bike, is pretty much trash. <laughs> Fork is completely demolished, the chain's rusted, the cassette is completely destroyed, tires are dry rotted, uh, the fork is, the fork was what really threw me off, it's just, it's not safe. So, uh, upon getting the other two bikes, going over them finally, which I've had these bikes for about a month now, so I was finally able to get some time and look them over and go, okay, here's what they need. So. Here's what they need. So the mongoose behind me, as you can see, is kind of torn down already. I was actually just inspecting some stuff, but I'll go over what I've done so far here in just a few minutes. So what the Huffy and this mongoose need are the pretty much the exact same thing. The brake cables need to be completely redone, re-ran and, and everything. The housings looked pretty good. They weren't crushed or split or anything like that. So I'm not doing the housings. I'm just doing cables. The shifter cables are completely chewed up. I don't know if you can see this from there, but just chewed up, just mangled. So we're going to be doing the shift cables as well. And this is going to be on both bikes. And we also are doing brand new chains on both because I'm going to put up a picture of the old chain um, up here beside this one. So these are the new chains. They're nothing special. They will be perfectly fine for what they will be used for. So I'm not looking to make a killing off of these bikes. Um, mostly why I like to do this is to just get people riding. You know, not everybody needs a couple thousand dollar bike or anything like that to get to riding. So yeah, pretty much just, you know, put some time into it. It is a activity I like to do. So I don't mind working on bikes, especially in my free time um, while my wife works and stuff like that. So it's really great to um, just, just to do something, just to have a, an activity to do at night, so to speak. So we are going to get started and the first bike in the series is the mongoose no reason in particular it seems like it needed the least amount of work so um yeah let's get started here so let's take you a little bit closer and we'll get to looking at it Like I said, these bikes are not perfect. That isn't the object. Um, obviously, the object is to make them look as good as possible, which is what I'm going to try to do. Like As you can see, these cables are just completely demolished. This one was cut because these wouldn't release. Um, as you can see, these brake pads are just destroyed. Uh, you know, this shock is completely dirty. And this isn't, you know, anything special as a, as a rear shock or anything. So um, I'm just going to try and make it make it work to best its ability you know with it being such a cheap bike I, I can't put you know a whole bunch of brand new parts on it so I mean a lot of the stuff's still pretty good this is a pretty rusty chain ring and derailleur um, but all the parts still move really well it just needs a new cable with it um, it's pretty seized up um, but these chain rings don't look too bad as you can see here, like I said, I do have the fork, so I'm just going to go over a little bit first off what I have done. We'll do the first part, which is going to be getting the bike cleaned up. And yeah, so that'll be the first part of this series for this bike is getting it cleaned up here first. So here's the fork, a little rusty on the inside there. But other than that, 
I mean, it's not in bad condition. It is dirty. Um, the seals haven't popped out of the fork here like the other one. Um, hopefully you saw the pictures of that one. These pads are kind of worn too, but the parts bike actually has decent pads on it. And then the girl's bike um, has some good pads on it too. Um, so yeah, this isn't a name brand fork or anything. Of course, that's it's not going to happen with the Walmart bike. Um, but yeah, the cable, the cables are just a mess. So I said, you know what? Let's just do brand new cables and brand new chains and tubes. Here we go. I'll set that tubes. So that was the other thing it needed was tubes. These tires are kind of old. They've been sitting, so they definitely needed some new tubes. Um, apparently, they had been pumped up when I bought them, and they were just flat. So, yeah, so that is kind of where I'm at. I um, also let me point over here. So this is a tub of degreaser. Um, I also have, well, as you can see, these chains aren't the um, best. Actually, it's just surface stuff. Anyway, um, this chain was covered in that factory grease stuff, and um, I'm not a fan of that. It doesn't last long. It soaks up dirt, so I let it sit in this overnight. The derailleur was completely caked and barely would move, but it's in really good condition otherwise. It needs some grease on the springs, and it needs to be brushed out. Um, I also have the... These are the bearings for the fork and the headset. So they actually look a lot better, to be honest. So they, um, they actually move freely and this dirt has really loosened up. So I should really be able to, to brush that off and then these bearings should be almost like new. But yeah, you can see this was clean last night. So it's definitely eaten up some of that dirt and stuff. And as you can see here, I have this trash can in the middle. Um, I went on ahead and started taking off a few parts. Now these, this was, so this stem was pretty rusty in the beginning and I don't have a clip of it and um, but as you can tell by the handlebars um, hopefully if you saw the clip of that already you know very very rusty now I'm getting my hands are wet um, so I just threw some quick paint on it I did brush off the surface rust and it didn't really seem to do much so we're going to spray the parts, you know, matte black right quick. So um, this paint sets really well. It's really durable enamel, so I'm not too worried about it. And I'm going to show the handlebars again, too. Um, I've tried getting some of it off, as you can tell there. It's just time consuming. takes too long. So in the process of these um, cables need to be replaced, pretty much everything's going to come off anyway. So I'll pull the bars off, throw a quick coat on them. And then they'll be good to go so but yeah other than that let's get to cleaning the frame and yeah that'll be step one so let's get started All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the little uh, time lapse. It's me cleaning this. I'm here, Mongoose, and I can already say with confidence that it looks 106 times better. Um, again, I'm not going too, too in-depth. Um, like I said, this is a little rusty. I'll probably just try and sand that back some just to get the color back. Um, but it's, it's, it's metal. It's not, you know, too big of a deal. You know, some of this paint has come off already. Some of these are, you know, some of this is kind of rusty, but yeah, I mean, if I can sand something, kind of bring it back, because a lot of it's just surface rust. It's nothing that, you know, that is, it's nothing that is going to cause something to break or weaken the metal or anything like that. It's a lot of surface rust. Like I said, I mean, these cranks still spin pretty good for what it is, so... Yeah, so I'm not too worried about the seat and, you know, how dirty this is and stuff right now. This is going to be gone. The parts bike has a perfectly good seat on it that I'm going to take off. But, yeah, a lot of these, you know, some of these just, just scratches and, I mean, some of this, like this, see, I mean, that just comes right off. So, once I get a lot of the cables and stuff done, I'll go back through it and hit it. So, I haven't cleaned the fork yet, so let me get that set up and we'll get to cleaning that next. So, let's get to it.
All right, guys. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the little time lapse of me cleaning the fork too. It actually turned out pretty good. Um, it's not perfect. I um, took this little wire brush that I have. It's a little too coarse for what I wanted. I didn't know at the time, but um, I wanted to kind of get the oxidation off of these arms, which seemed to do okay. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be replacing these pads so anything behind it will get cleaned as well. I went on ahead and took off those little covers. Um, the sanctions aren't in too bad a condition. They definitely have seen oops, definitely have seen some use, but I was compressing them here after I cleaned them. And uh, I'm going to put some WPL, which if you're not familiar, it's what I use to kind of clean the forks on my GT. It's really good stuff. Works on dropper posts too. So if you ever want a little bit of... Um, cleaner for your post or whatever um, that's good stuff so I'm gonna actually use on that on some of this it should help just a little bit um, again I'm not looking for air suspension because this is definitely not so but yeah it definitely looks a lot cleaner um, I'm super happy with the way it turned out um, like I said I got the bearings are the headset bearings are all clean um, this will get cleaned as well and re-greased and everything like that so yeah super pumped about that I had to take a second off camera, so what I went on ahead and did is I went on ahead and pulled the cable out of this, cleaned off this housing, cleaned off this barrel, cleaned these housings, and cleaned up under this. And as you can see, I've already cut these. The reason I just cut them and haven't pulled them out yet is because I'm not ready to disassemble the handlebars just yet. And when I'm ready to do that, um, I will take everything off, do the handlebar painting so that way they match and they're, that they're black. And then once that's done, I'll put everything back on and then redo the shifting. But that's pretty much going to be the very, very last thing. Um, like I said, I have the chain cut and ready as long as, as well as the derailleur. So yeah, so that's actually ready to go. So I think the next thing I'm actually going to do is um, get that chain cleaned off, get those bearings nice and clean. And I'm going to go ahead and get the fork re-greased around the crown race along with um, just putting the bearing back on for now since I'm not ready to put it back in just yet and then yeah oh so also off camera and I went on ahead and started painting this so this is the uh, clamp for the stem here which actually has a coat of clear on it um, the mat that I have just didn't look right so the glosses um, should turn out really well so these are still drying but those are also going to go on with the handlebars and everything so yeah other than cleaning the derailleur and getting it nice and cleaned up in the chain and and the bearings as well the headset bearings that's pretty much going to be it for this video um yes yeah, so i just wanted to um you know get you guys hyped up on the new series that i'm going to be doing and i'm really excited to um start that like i said i do have another bike which um is the huffy and i'm not gonna i'm not not sure when we'll get started on that but as soon as this is done we're going to get started on it so um well kind of dark over there so yeah i guess like i said the next thing is we're going to get those cleaned up after that's clean, then that'll be it for this one. In the next video, we will be probably tearing the handlebars and the rest of the cables off and getting that situated, getting the bars painted. Um, also in the next video, we will be doing the tires as well. So the tires are down here. We're gonna be getting those nice and clean and changing the tubes out, or changing the tubes out then getting them nice and clean. That way, once the tire is seated, we're all good to go. I don't have to worry about getting them dirty again. So, yeah, we'll get those nice and clean and ready to go. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to bring you guys on the adventure of all of this stuff in the terms of rebuilding it, fixing it, and making it rideable to the little bit of a test ride that I need to do before it gets sold. The listing process, and, you know, if I can, I'll video me selling it. And then um, hopefully once it's sold, I can do a price breakdown. Um, so let's hope that they both sell. Because I want to sell them as a girl-boy bike um, combo. But if not, um, that's fine. I'll just sell them off one, at, one by one. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to do. So let's get started on cleaning the chain and derailleur and headset bearings and we will catch back up with you guys next time enjoy this little bit of a time lapse with me doing that
Thank you for watching. My name is Seth with Good Times MTB, and we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching. See ya.